Today I'd like to show you just a few of the most useful FDM materials from Stratasys, starting with standard materials and moving to engineering and then advanced materials. This is ABS M30. It's a great general purpose standard plastic used by thousands of customers around the world for a great variety of applications, from concept models to moderate performance parts such as functional prototypes, jigs and fixtures, manufacturing tooling, and sometimes even production parts. A great tip here is to use the ABS M30 as a lightweight end of arm tool like these. Using FDM material and 3D printing in place of CNC will save you weeks of lead time and allows you to create a part with a superior strength to weight ratio, improving the efficiency of the robotic system that you're using. This is the ASA material. It's also a standard production grade thermoplastic. It combines good mechanical strength, UV stability, and a superior surface finish. It also comes in 10 fade resistant colors. ASA is ideal for fit, form, and functional prototypes, or parts for outdoor use, such as these electrical housings. A great idea here is to use tip 10 during printing to create a very high quality surface finish. Another good tip is to make the most of the sparse build option that enables you to save time and material using these larger internal honeycomb structures. These make large parts significantly lighter. New from Stratasys is the Fortus 900 MC acceleration kit that uses a T40A tip. This produces the largest slice height of any FDM 3D printer, increasing build speeds by two to three times. This is great for quickly turning out large parts and concept models such as this. This is producing the ASA material, but you can also use the T40A tip with the Ultim 1010 material. So this is Nylon 12. It's an engineering grade plastic known for its toughness, superior elongation at break, and isotropic mechanical performance. Nylon 12 is ideal for prototyping or manufacturing jigs such as this, repetitive snap fit parts, and friction fit inserts. And its chemical resistance makes it ideal for work environments where solvents are common. Tip 12 will work best to produce parts with strength and a high gloss surface finish. Also, to avoid deformation of the part, make sure to let it cool down while it's still attached to the build sheet inside the machine. Once it's cool, then gently detach it. At the top end of the Stratasys FDM offering is the Ultim High Performance family, including Ultim 9085 and Ultim 1010. Both of these materials feature advanced mechanical and thermal properties, combined with a very high strength to weight ratio, making them ideal for aerospace and automotive prototyping and many types of end-use parts. Ultim 1010 also features specific industry certifications that expand its range of applications to custom food production tools and autoclave sterilizable medical devices such as this. When using either of the Ultim materials, try to use self-supporting angles of 43 to 45 degrees to reduce the time and material cost of printing. This will also allow you to build complex geometries without the need to manually remove the breakaway support. When printing inner channels, use a triangle or diamond-shaped profile to make the most of the self-supporting principle to ensure a smooth and completely hollow interior. This is particularly useful when producing things like aircraft structures and hollow wings. Well, that's it for now. We hope you found these tips and tricks useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.